Welcome to Brick Trains and I'm Joey and today I got another castle set. So what are we looking at here? Well, we're looking at set 683, uh, the Knight's Joust. This is part of the castle theme or castle system. What it says on the box is part of the castle system. Uh, so this particular set came out in 1981 in the United States under the 6083 and this is the instruction for 6083 but if you'll notice it has a 383 also that's a European number now the at least the early versions of this set in Europe would have only had the 383 on the box and on the instructions and the box was a little different at least for the early versions that I saw I don't I don't know if they updated the box at some time <clears throat> at some time <laughs> uh, or if it just stayed that the the other version I'll insert a picture of the box if I can they also it came out in what was it 79 in Europe so the 383 actually came out a couple years earlier than the United States version. So, this set is, again, like I said, it's part of the classic uh, uh, castle theme. And as I define the classic castle theme, and I think, I think most people do, there were really only a couple sets. Uh, this one in the, in, the, in the castle, or the yellow castle, as everybody likes to call it, which is, you know, I did a video on that previously, and that was kind of my first time into Castle. So this is my second time I'm into Castle. And you know, I don't know if I'm going to continue moving on, but I I find these pretty fascinating. So let's look at um, let's look at some of the from the interesting features of this. Actually, you know, this is the first time I've actually well, it's not the first time, but it's actually I'm really kind of noticing the back of this box. And all the extra, what are they? The, the alternate builds. So there's there's quite a few alternate builds on the back of this box. So we do have, as far as the box is concerned, we have the insert, just the cardboard insert. I'm not sure if anything else would have been in here, if there would have been a plastic insert or not. Uh, and I got the sleeve, it's pretty decent shape. Um, these are gonna be hard to get. These are hard to get. Uh, the instructions can be had on BrickLink and um, eBay a little bit, uh, but if you're gonna get a complete set like this, with all the correct parts and stuff, it's, it's gonna cost you a couple hundred bucks, easy. I think there's a sealed set. I think there was a sealed set up there for 700 something dollars, I think. Uh, don't quote me on that. And plus, I don't know when you're watching this, so it could have been, it could be gone by now. Uh, the box says there's 201 pieces. Bricklink and Brickset all have their own uh, counts, and we all know that they, they 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 vary wildly as to really what the the actual piece count is and what you what they counted and stuff. So okay, let's get in here and look at some of the interesting things. First, we have the the cypress tree, the coveted, very expensive cypress tree so i'm lucky i feel lucky to have one of these um i i did piece this together so i basically basically i bought the box <laughs> and i bought the instructions and then i bought uh, there was a partial set that had some of the minifigs um and some of the pieces and then i just finished piecing in the rest of the stuff so this has been brick linked together, if you will. So again, I got the cypress tree. So that's that's a good, uh, it's a good piece and it's in good shape. These things are crazy looking. Uh, we have the two flags, which have stickers on both sides. And I'm pretty happy with those. I ended up actually ordering about four of these flags just, just because I would throw them in brick link orders if you know because i was actually getting either weapons or shields or other minifigures as i was brick linking this stuff together and i ended up ended up with a couple of them some of them were bent um, one has a sticker on upside down on the back side or front side depending on how you're looking at it um, so yeah these are good and the sticker sheet had four stickers on it and it was these flags 
and that's it. That's all the sticker sheet had on it were, were these flags. So let's see, what's the next thing? Let's look at the Red Knight here. Look at him on the shot. So horse with the with the blanket, the red and black blanket over it. I guess really it's not. It's more than a blanket. I guess it's a it's horse armor maybe. I guess it was thick leather or I don't know. I don't know anything about pirate or pirates. <laughs> I don't anything about pirates either. Um, I don't know anything about knights. So whatever that was, it was probably more than just decorative. Um, it was probably something to protect the horses. Uh, so. Pretty cool horse. These are brick-built horses. This is the last set in Castle. There's only two Castle sets that had brick-built horses. This and the aforementioned Yellow Castle. Everything else at that, at, at, everything else would have been in the time frame of the um, regular horse, minifig horse, if you will. Okay, so this guy, he's got he's got a shield that matches his armor his uh knight or shield i want you to notice though it i don't know if you can even see it let's get the joust down and look at him this one has the pattern is reversed from his from his shirt to his uh shield the inventory say it could have been either way um and this shield, I believe, only came in this set and maybe a minifig pack of Castle. There were two minifig packs. One was a service pack, and then there was a six, six, put down, what, which, put both, future editing me, put both of the packs of minifigs that had these figures in it. Uh, so that, I said there was only two sets from this classic area, but there was actually four if you count those two minifig packs. Battle packs, if you will. Well, one was a service pack, and one was kind of like a battle pack. Uh, at any rate, these shields, where you have this darker color here on the left versus the uh, tan type color on the right, they were versed like his shirt is. So, I actually have a couple of these shields, both directions. Um, I'm not sure. You know, in the on the box and in the instructions are pictured the other way where they match. Um, so I have some that match. I just in this particular for this particular, I have it. I have the oddball one. So all right. Oh, and let, while we're talking about this, let's while we're talking about this little guy, let's get rid of his figure, his weaponry, and get a good close up of him. He has this black visor over a classic gray space helmet. Now, I know I got chastised a little bit about not understanding why we would have had a black, or had a classic space helmets in Castle, but I now fully understand <laughs> that that little visor is pretty important. And in fact, in my, I, I failed to notice it, or I, did, I noticed it, but I failed to realize what it was, but there was a red classic space helmet in the yellow Castle, um, sets when I pieced all that together and I was like, why is there a space helmet in here? Well, I put that red space helmet in with the rest of my red space helmets of the same vintage and kind. Well, it turns out in the battle packs, the castle battle packs from this era, the guy has red helmet with black visors. So, not only did they have the light gray, the old light gray helmets, they also had red helmets in this time frame. And this is printed. That is that shield is printed on his torso. It is not a sticker. So I find that interesting that some of the things are stickers, especially the Yellow Castle. Some of it's stickers, and some of it's uh, some of it's stickers. But it came out in a different time where these were older. I, I guess really it's probably a, the European version versus the U.S. version. Um, why some things had stickers and why why some of these figures were printed in versus some of them had stickers. At any rate. Okay, so that's the red knight. I don't know if he's going to stay standing. Now we have the blue knight on his horse. Uh, I don't know if I'm getting that in there good or not. So he has... These horses... Yep, this one's going to fall apart. There's like absolutely no clutch you've ever dealt with vintage P 
pieces from this era, they, if they've been played with at all, they have no clutch, and most of them have been played with a lot. Um, so this one has the reddish brown, or is it, that's just brown, that's not reddish brown, the brown joust uh, lance, I think that's what that's called. Uh, and he also has the shield, which matches his shirt. Shirt. Um, uniform. Is uh, armor, I guess. Maybe these are armor. So that you can see the pattern there is a dark red on one side versus the lighter red, and it matches the shield. And I don't believe there's an alternate for this. I believe they were all the same. It was only this other one that had an alternate, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. And he has the red visor again on the light gray um, space helmet. So, and he's got white legs, blue hips. The other one has red legs and red hips. Is that right? I thought he had black. What does it show? You know what? We may have an error here I have to correct. Because I don't think he has the right hips. I could be wrong. Pardon me while I my, uh, peruse my stuff. Yeah, I believe... Yep, this guy is supposed to have black hips. So I'm gonna have to correct, correct that. And I have the correct uh, torso. He should have a, a black hips uh, for his red legs. So I will, I will correct that. I will correct that. Not right to second, but I will correct that. Hmm, I need to check my bricklink too, see where I messed up. This is, again, I bricklinked this together. So it wasn't like this is stuff that came in this box or came with the set. These were, these were, this was all pieced together, so made a mistake there. All right, let's get the horses set aside. We have our two uh, soldiers and these guys. Let's double check I did them right. They should be black legs, red torsos. They are black leg, red torsos, and then they have this battle axe. I'm sure somebody will tell me what that's really supposed to be. Uh, again, printed, and this is a, a tricolor shield that they have. So, both of them. Yep, they're the same. Red hips, black legs. And this one should have a black hips and red legs. Whew, whew, it's confusing. I'm sure there's plenty of castle people out there that are just, I don't understand why you don't know this. That's because I know trains, unless I don't, so. All right, so here's the viewing platform. So this is a pretty cool little little building. Not much to the back. It's just basically solid blue and white. Um, this is a, what is it, 8 by 24 base plate. And we have the princess with necklace, as they call her. The jousting princess with necklace or something like that. So she's got the red pigtails and the... Uh, torso has the uh, necklace around it, so very nice, very nice. And then we have the prince. Get him out. Oh, and he has. Make sure I've done him right too. I'm, I'm pretty sure the princess was easy. She was just yeah, you know, red. He's solid red. Okay, he's solid red with the tricolored shield on his shirt, uh, and he has blue cup. So in most of this, it pictures, uh, is it pictured everywhere? Yeah, two cups. Uh, some of the inventory show only one blue cup. And just so that I could be different, I went ahead and put three blue cups in there because I ordered all blue cups when I had to order them. I, you know, I have a cup, <laughs> funny enough, I have a cup full of cups and I had no blue cups. So I had all reds and pinks and classic pinks and all kinds of crazy stuff, but I didn't have no blue ones, so I had to order some blue ones. Yeah. So most of these parts are just your basic parts. Uh, blue, your blue bricks, black bricks, white and red, it, nothing special. The eight by 24 base plate uh, is, uh, I mean, it's not super rare or anything. It, it can be a little expensive. You know, it might be cost you five, $10 to get one, depending on its condition. And, you know, they're not making anymore, so 
This is one of those that when you look at it, I, I, I end up having, I had, I had three or four of them. Um, and I, I went to look at them, you know, there's been a conversation about, you know, how are these made? And if these were thermal formed at, on bigger sheets and cut out, and it's, it looks to me, all of them that I have seem to have more of a cut than like a, like a finished edge. So I still see no reason why to think that any of these were not just cut out by the, whoever was making these base plates for Lego, whoever's still making these base plates for Lego. I don't know if it's the same person or not, same company. If you notice in there, the yellow throne is actually um, not on the studs. It's in between. So, you know, that's one of those, it's not an illegal build. It's just kind of one of those crazy builds where it's, you're not actually sitting it on the studs. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, and in fact, it kind of befuddled me when I was building it because the count, it, it's not, it's actually not perfectly centered either. It's off to the one side a little bit. So... That was interesting. So, I'm also going to have after this, I'll have the speed build. So there'll be a little three minute speed build of this set and you'll actually see me kind of fiddling with that in there. And you'll also see in the speed build where I built the horse wrong. So I had actually built it with basically blue stripes and white stripes versus this checkerboard pattern. So, But I have it corrected and I have to correct have to correct which guy I have to correct this guy's hips so we got that to correct all right let's get everybody set back up get everybody back in their place and then this is gonna go in this is gonna go in the cabinet that you cannot see there um, just like I have a space cabinet over there I have another cabinet with some other vintage items in it and it's a glass cabinet. My thing, I've always wanted to kind of create a um, storefront. You know, you see a lot of people who build, do man caves and stuff, and they make them after gasoline um, gas stations. And, you know, it's all about uh, uh, cars and gasoline and oil and that kind of stuff. And which one am I going to get? Yeah, I'm going to put them on the wrong. Yeah. I want to do a toy store. A vintage toy store so from the 70s um, early 80s when you actually bought toys more from either places like Kmart or Airway or Hills or you know one of those chain stores or you bought it from either an exclusive toy store or oddly enough your local hardware store which often carried toys along with everything else you needed. So, all right, we're just about got him all back together. Get it all set up here. Knock the cypress tree over. Cypress tree is probably more expensive than anything else in this whole thing. Okay. That is my 6083. Did I go through everything on mine? Let me check my notes. Make sure I mentioned everything because I always want to make sure I mention everything. Oh. This was a $16 set in the day. Now it's going to cost you a couple hundred easy. Um, yeah, I mentioned everything that I wanted on my list. So 6083, if you're in Europe, it was 383. The European instructions in the box did not have the 6083 on there. It would have just had the 383. The European version would have. Uh, Cool little set. It's a great little set from uh, the uh, early classic castle theme. Thanks for watching. So you've made it to the end of the line. That means it's comment contest time. So classic castle was the first. Yellow castle, knight's joust, uh, knight's procession. Uh, what was next? What was the next sub theme after classic castle? First correct answer in the comments, and we'll pin you to the top.